Hi everyone. I just thought I should uh, show you a little bit of a demo of um, HDMI USB converter for my desktop with the monitor. So my desktop doesn't have an HDMI. Okay, it's mostly USBs and one VGA on the back of my computer. Hold on. Okay, this is what I have on the back of my computer. I do have a VGA. Okay. And a lot of USB connectors in the back. I'm not tech savvy. I mean, the other two connectors here, I don't know what the other ones are. I'm much familiar with the VGA and the USBs. Okay. So this is in the back of my Elite desktop. Okay. I have uh, this Asus monitor. The back I have an adapter and then an HDMI and a VGA. All right. And on the back of my HP monitor, I have an HDMI and a connector. Now, I'm trying to do a dual monitor to attach with my desktop. So, so far, I got my other monitor okay. Okay. Meaning, I mean, it has the VGA connected to the back of the desktop. And that's my Asus. It's this one here, the HP, that I'm hoping my HDMI would connect with the desktop. The problem is, of course, my desktop doesn't an HDMI, right? So I need to get a converter uh, HDMI uh, USB, okay? So uh, I ordered that converter um, at Amazon right here. So I purchased it on the 29th, two days ago, and I just received it today. Now, I wasn't quite familiar. I don't normally do a, you know, dual monitor screen, especially having to understand the adapter. So I'm just learning now. But I just want to share something to you. You know, initially I connected, I wasn't getting any response. I said, like, oh my goodness, uh, nothing is popping on the monitor, you know. And so, and uh, so I was getting discouraged, so I decided to, uh, let's see here, to uh, make an attempt and see what's missing. Uh, apparently, just after reading the manual, which is so tiny, okay, so I took a picture of it and then I, and see how little that one is? So I had to take a picture and then, uh, you know, magnify or expand it, zoom it out so I could read it clearly. So the part I didn't realize is I have to make sure the driver uh, gets installed, all right? So... I kind of got an idea about that because what I did is when I when I um, connected it, okay, I'm not seeing anything or popping up. So what I did is I had to go. So let me show you, okay? So I go to the. Let's see here. I had to go to the windows. So I go to this little window here to go to my settings. Okay, the control panel, that's what it's called. <laughs> and then um, uh, right when I go to the control panel, I go to the windows uh, or look for the driver for updates, Windows driver updates. That's what I, I reboot the computer, okay? And then after I rebooted the computer, okay, and finally, I saw the driver showing up. And let me show you. Okay, this one showed up. So that Windows 10, all right? So let's see what happens. I'm gonna click this, double click. 
Alright, because we want to install that driver, right? So, uh, excuse me. So, let me make sure I clear. The, the files, I'm sorry, popped up. Not, okay, not the driver yet. So, because right now, we want to install these files for the driver. And in order for the drive, driver for this um, converter to work right. Okay, so I'm going to click yes. Now, I chose window. This There were two files there. I chose the one that says window 7, 10. Uh, okay, there was also another one for a Mac. So if you have a Mac, you're going to choose the one that says Mac, all right? But since I got Windows 10, I double-clicked on that file, then I, okay, then it says, do you want to allow this app from an own publisher to make changes? So I say yes. So let's see. Okay, and then it says browse. Okay, it says set up in store, H, Y, C, USB display to the folder. Okay, so... It's going to go here. All I need to do is to continue and click next. Okay, if you like to select a different folder, you're going to click browse. But I'm pretty satisfied on that, so I'm going to click next. Okay. And then it says setup will create uh, the product shortcuts in the file start menu folder. To continue, click next. If you like to select a different folder, click browse. So then I click next okay and then it says click to install okay click install to continue with the installation or click back if you want to review so i'm just going to go and install it all right i have to install this device software so you say yes again uh, i mean you click install and then completing the hyc usb display setup wizard yes restart the computer now which i'm gonna do it's i click the yes well it says yes already on it so then just click finish so it's gonna restart okay okay at this stage we're restarting it right so this instruction here it says after restart the computer if the driver installed correctly you should be able to see a monitor icon in the taskbar. As soon as you get the item and you connect it and you, see, you notice the monitor is not, um, you know, not showing any of your uh, desktop, is because you need to install the driver, okay, from your desktop. And in order to do that, you're going to, of course, first use a functional monitor first in order to be able to see what you're doing, right? And so this is my ACES, all right, monitor. And my HP monitor, yay! It came on as well. So the driver actually worked. Yes. Okay. There you go. Asus HP 